When it comes to financial literacy, ano ba yung common challenge or tinatanong ng mga tao sa'yo? Okay, siguro ano, ang main na tinatanong dyan is how do you actually save money? Diba? Kasi you cannot really invest if you don't save money. Diba? Parang anong ilalagay mo dun sa investment mo kung di ka naman nakakapag-ipon? And ang pinaka-question dyan uh, madalas is how do you save money kung talagang sakto lang yung income mo? Diba? Kasi lalo na ngayon, medyo nagmamahal naman talaga yung prices natin, nagmamahal yung prices ng goods and services. How do you, how do you manage all these things? So, ang, ang, ang answer ko dyan, uh, number one, is budget allocation. Okay. Parang you really need to uh, spend mindfully. Kasi most of, most of the people, pag may pera yan, gasos lang ng gasos eh. Diba? Bahala na, basta, basta may pera ka, gasos ka lang. You don't actually budget the money. Like, kunwari, ilan ba dapat yung percentage sa, sa needs mo? Ilan yung percentage na dapat sa wants mo? Ilan yung percentage na dapat mo i-save or invest So, you have, to, you have to allocate properly. And lagi nating sinasabi, di ba? Parang, you have to pay yourself first. Mm-hmm. Which is, madali lang siyang sabihin. Mahirap Parang, siyang gawin. Mahirap siyang gawin, eh. <laughs> di ba? It's, it's normal din. It's normal lang for people. Pero, if with a proper discipline, with a proper uh, mind setting, and then kung alam mo talaga ano ba yung goals mo, kung bakit mo ginagawa siya, then it becomes it becomes easier, pero mas syempre, mas masarap pa rin gumastos. Pero now, you are motivated to actually save money. Mm-hmm. And um, hindi lang kasi pagtitipid yung ano eh, kailangan natin gawin eh. Kailangan, maghanap din tayo ng mga racket, di ba? Maghanap din tayo ng mag, uh, uh, extra income streams. We have to expand yung ating means. Mahirap, mahirap din kasi na puro save lang tayo. Minsan talagang, Hindi talagang sakto lang talaga eh. <laughs> diba? Hindi mo naman pwedeng pilitin. Hindi naman pwedeng from 3 meals a day, magayon mo na lang 2 meals a day ka. Diba? You have to find some other uh, stuff that could actually earn you money. And napakarami naman nating free time. Ang dami nga nating time para mag-Facebook. Diba? So why not spend some of those time to be more productive? Correct. Tama talaga. Actually, yung number one is same, similar. Savings rin yung mga common tinatanong sa amin. Like, how can you allocate, how can you set aside uh-huh. a budget for yourself? And different yung situations. May, may ibang tao na students. Uh-huh. Meron yung allowance, wow. yun nila yung income nila. Stu- as early as students. Oh, no? Meron na, 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 na ano, nagtatanong kung paano yung, ano yung discarte nila. <laughs> And uh, meron ding mga employees. Mm-hmm. no Like, they are just earning minimum wage or they're just starting out in a company. Uh-huh. So, paano nila yung isave? Meron din na... Uh, single parent dalawa yung anak uh-huh. yun yung medyo mahirap kasi Oo. you have you have children to parang Correct. you need to ano ba so pagdating naman meron ka bang specific strategy or tactic kung paano mag-budget like for uh-huh. example 10% goes to once uh-huh. or meron ka bang ganun uh, i do have a parang a structure pero you have to keep in mind that personal finance is very personal kaya diba? siya tinatawag personal yes. finance yes so parang we yes, we can we can recommend to people uh, dapat ako, personally, ginagawa ko 60% ay sa needs ko. That includes yung tithing. And then, 20% for my wants, 20% for my investing. So, that works for me. But it might not work for other people. Lalo na kasi ako, wala pa naman akong, wala pa akong dependent. Single pa lang ako. Di ba? Parang, I'm engaged, pero wala pa akong, wala pa akong family na sinasupportan. And yung family ko, they can support din naman sila, yung parents ko. So, it would be different from, for someone na uh, breadwinner. Kasi baka magkaroon ng, siyempre, mas malaki yung mga gagasos siya for the needs. Baka medyo mag-sacrifice ng konti yung wants and uh, something like that. Pero ang uh, siguro, ang general idea dito is we really have to save some amount of our money for the future, for our investing. And if you're going to ask me if ilang percentage ba yun, you could start small naman eh. Minsan when you try to do it big kagad, nabibigla ka tapos parang feeling mo ay nade-deprive na hindi ako. Rea- hindi realistic. Oh, hindi r- realistic. Hindi rin siya sustainable. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Minsan, sige, on the first month parang you, ha- you have this hype na sige, mag-iipon na ako ngayon. Pero after a few while, since parang na-feel mo nga na parang hindi ka na masaya, masyadong hindi mo na na- na-enjoy yung pera mo, you stop saving altogether. Mm-hmm. So parang, sige, build up mo lang 5% muna, 10%, tapos hangang pataas ng pataas. Mm-hmm.